All right. All right. Real quick, uh, what 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 are your name? And what are your pronouns? Uh, my name's Andrew. I go by he him. I don't really care. I mean, you can call me they, but you know, okay. I've lived my life up to this point, so All right, whatever. Cool. All right. So we got you. We got you in here. Welcome to the show. You know, it's been a while yeah, since it's, we've it's had nice. anybody interested in actually having a debate who actually is willing to show up. So, thank you. Yeah, well, it's cool to be here. It. I mean, to be honest with you, when I when I said, "Hey, do you, where do I go if I want to argue with you?" I didn't think you were going to say, "Yeah, come on the show tonight." But yeah, here yeah. I am. I feel I feel you know it's, a, it's a fresh night. It's a it's a throwback to the to the things we don't get the treats we don't get so often anymore. Yeah, I, I like your new studio. Thank you. Also, thank I, you. I haven't so. Full disclosure, I, I I went and revisited your talk with Paul's ego because okay. I wanted to yeah. kind of refresh myself with what your contention exactly was about sure. AI. I have many contentions that said, about AI, I, but sure. I didn't really, I, I just didn't really end up having enough time to dive deep into it. So I was hoping maybe you would be okay if we start this with sort of a quick refresher. Like, sure, yeah, of course. If, there, totally if, there's, one, if there's one specific AI question that I wanted to talk about, it's why in your opinion like is it your opinion that ai generated content is automatically not artwork and if so why uh i mean i tend to have a pretty severe um position in which i i think that most of it at least for me um does not qualify as what i would consider art um i obviously i don't think there is any way to define in a single like uh, a swoop like what all things that categorize I don't believe in like universal categories but I think that okay. you can come up with a fairly solid definition and I think it's at least for me it's very difficult to categorize most AI generated content as anything artistic for me what's important about art is um history context intention uh commu communication um these things are really really important to me about art um, when I when okay. I think about what makes art important and valuable, it's the fact that we are able to uh, build connections uh, to one another, uh, and uh, that there is a, there's a form of communication that can go on between someone putting their heart, soul, and mind into something that they're making, and somebody else being able to pick that up and get something from it. Um, that it's infused okay. with uh, with expertise, experience, uh, knowledge, and even the worst uh, human-made art. Um, you know, uh, is is able to do things that that uh, AI art just really isn't, in my opinion. Okay, so so, uh, so I, I'm glad that you used the word intention because mm -hmm. that's sort of the basis of my argument for why not all AI generated content is art. We definitely have to pick through it with a fine tooth comb, but being generated by AI does not disqualify a thing from being art, in my opinion. And this yeah, is where, I mean, and, and that's this I guess is part I'm of the open reason to, why. I'm, I'm open to the idea that there is somewhere out there, um, like, th that it's possible for there to be, uh, like, you know, an AI-generated thing that does qualify as art. I just don't think we see it basically ever. Um, and I, I don't know think what you're probably like. right in that yeah. we haven't seen it yet, but I think it's coming. So, and... and I will I will leave off the topic of, of DFF and Paul's ego, but to, to wrap up why I brought that up to start with, because mm -hmm. the other reason that I pulled that up was because I wanted to hear his argument again, because I wanted to make sure that I wasn't parroting him too hard. I don't mm -hmm. want to put words in anyone else's mouth. And I was shocked to see that my memory of that conversation was not so good. It took about three sentences for him to say something that I radically disagreed with. So... I think maybe I was projecting my opinions into that conversation in a oh, way that, that happens wasn't realistic. All the time. That happens. Yeah. All the so, time. so, so that's why you know I just wanted to say you know, I, I wanted to come at you you know honestly. I found you through DFF. A lot of the things that I think you'll probably find reminiscent of things they said, but right. I don't want it to be like I'm just parroting talking points you've oh, already heard. I wouldn't heard worry. This, I wouldn't like, worry yeah. too much about that. I, yeah. I, so, it seems like you're coming here with your own ideas, and and that's so funny. it's. It, so my, my big issue, and you can find multiple examples of this, I don't have one handy, but people refer to AI-generated art as mm -hmm. a new medium a lot. Mm -hmm. And I think, first off, that's totally wrong. AI-generated artwork is not a, it, this is not a new visual medium. Digital images on a computer screen is nothing new. This is not a revolutionary type of conveying artwork. This is a new tool. This is a new okay. paintbrush. This is a new canvas. This is a new piece of unused film reel. 
this is the tool that talks that you, you talk to the computer it does its best to make the thing that it thinks you're describing and so the real artists of ai are not going to be the guy who sits down in front of sora ai and says give me a movie about a woman with titties the size of jupiter okay even even if the AI reaches a level of sophistication where that 10 word prompt is enough for it to go okay and generate you a 90 minute film of absolute schlock it's going to be just that it's going to be terrible it's going to be sure, uncanny sure. valley it's going to be horrible it's going it's it's not going to be realistic at all but the person who sits down at the AI and time after time iteration after iteration builds a scene builds a dialogue builds a movie i don't think it's fair to approach the conversation with the idea that well it doesn't matter how much effort went in it's still not art because of which tool was used to create it i once I, upon a time i don't there think was i disagree no with you 100 percent on that though uh, okay so you run into okay so then we run into two different things that are okay so with, with what you're saying, I feel like we're stepping even further away from uh, AI as any meaningful, like, useful term, Well, right? that's that's part of the thing. And, like, and if you want, I, I wanted to start with art, but if you would like to also indulge me in talking about the sentience or not sentience of AI and stuff like that, and, and, and the AI's ability to have intentions, we can definitely have that conversation too. But I'm uh, speaking specifically about human intention translated through the ai into a piece of art yeah i mean i think that if you're talking about somebody you know uh like taking a, a hundred thousand images generated by ai and collaging them together into a wholly new image i do believe that you've you you're you've entered back into the realm of art again um because um you're you're something is you're you're, you're there, because you're you're taking like it, it's basically you know it's it's like somebody who took, uh, you know, uh, clippings of, of newspaper articles to, to, to t tell a story or make a poem with. Um, it's using something that pre-exists. I just, I do think there's something fundamentally different about that. And I don't know that, like, that's, I, and I'll be honest, this is not the way that I encounter most people talking about AI art. So um, you've definitely, uh, you've definitely brought something unique to the well, table. Um, th I don't, this comes from a yeah. place of... Uh... This guy, I, I I went to school for programming. I don't know. Have you ever taken you know at least intro to computer yeah, programming yeah, some, or anything? I mean, like I haven't that. taken any courses yeah, so, on programming, but I've done. I've learned the well, basics of programming. So, yeah. So, if you're self, if you're kind of like self-taught the basics, then maybe you wouldn't go through exactly this. But ha having an actual teacher in a classroom uh -huh. to teach me coding, the way it went, and this, I've learned that this is not, maybe not universal, but this is not at all uncommon. What he did on the very first day of class is he put a loaf of bread and a jar of peanut butter and a jar of jelly and a butter knife on the table in front of them. Uh -huh. and, in, and then he said, tell me how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And one at a time, people would turn in their, their short list of steps and it would end up having him doing things like grabbing the peanut butter jar and rolling it around on top of the unopened bread bag. Right. And shit, like, you know, like, yeah. you have to be down to the gnats ass specific. Yep. Now, with an AI, with a generative language model, you can cut some of those corners. But when you cut the corners, the machine fills in the gaps with things that it can Google. Sure. Things that it can pull uh, from the internet. In the and past, so it's my contention that, that, that you're not, like, uh, you're not my... necessarily stealing automatically because you can override the computer's inclination to fill in those gaps by just being more specific, by being more... By, by incorporating imagery directly into your speech as opposed to letting the computer figure it out. I think it probably depends a lot on the actual AI model and one of the pro one of the then compounding that's true. one of the compounding problems that we have with AI is that um, in its current form is that a lot of them are pretty black box as far as where they're pulling things from and we've had actual active deception from some of these companies as to where they're learning from. Um, uh, and I think there's a number of things you could talk about with that, but I think this conversation is kind of going in a di different direction than discussing that. Um, I have said in the past, yeah, I mean, in my, I could, in, I could touch uh, one that second, briefly. One second, I mean, yeah, I, uh, oh, yeah, uh, go, go I wanted ahead, to finish sorry. something. Um, the, uh, uh, in previous conversations about AI that I've had, I've, I've talked about this where I have said, you know, I think that like 
the AI, uh, like the, the lines of code that make up the AI application that you're using or the, pro the, the product that you're using to create things could be in and of itself a work of art. But what it produces is most frequently not, um, if not ever. You know what I mean? Um, well, because, yeah. Yeah. I, I agree, but I also yeah. think that most people who pick up a paintbrush and scribble some paint onto something that doesn't make them an artist and that doesn't make the thing that they just made art. I disagree. I think it does. I don't I don't think I every think, I don't I think, think every every toddler who scribbles crayon on a piece of paper isn't an artist. If we kept every one of those as a valuable piece of art, the earth would be entirely covered in pieces of paper with toddlers scribbling oh, on them. People do do that. I, I do. My, when you, oh, wait when a minute. Say, <laughs> Hold on a second. Wait, every, you, everyone's parents pe keeps their, their paintings. My, my mom uh, my still has a box. Of, didn't keep, my parents definitely did not keep every p thing I ever drew. Oh, you not know, they everything. Kept a few things, obviously. But, I mean, obviously all well, kinds my point of things is, lost. But, but, but hey, that, wait, that great, work, great, great we works of art get lost. Great works of art get lost. That's true. Of course they do. But that gets back to what we were talking earlier about intentionality. Sure. There is a difference the between picking up the tool. Yeah, but there's a difference between picking up the tools that people use to make art and mindlessly splotching on something than there is between picking up those tools used for art and using them to intentionally create a piece of art. Like in in my mind, and I know it's not the same for everybody, but when I think of what when I try to conceptualize because I'm not a visual mm -hmm. artist in any sense of the word. Sure. When I when I try to conceptualize this process, I think I mean you have to at, at, to some extent in your mind's eye know what it is you're intending to create, right? Um, Even if you don't no. have the talent, perhaps. Um, to, no, I to don't think that's convey. my. I don't think that's okay. my the way that I talk about intentionality. Like when I'm talking about intentionality, I mean the intent to create, the intent to make something, um, whether or not okay. you know exactly what you're doing. Because I think a lot of art is a process of discovery. In fact, I think that that's like uh, many artists have described that that way, and I certainly think that's the way certain aspects of art is for me. That in the process of making something. Of you, you set out with the goal of making something and you discover more and more what you're actually trying to make as you go through that process. So I don't think that intentionality necessarily means like I am setting out to make uh, Twin Peaks season three. It's, it's, no, uh, I, know, I, I, am, I don't, I don't I mean am, it has to be that specific, but I, I think intentionality is a little bit more precise of a thing than we're treating it as. Maybe, but I, I don't, I, I would, I, don't I would think, argue. I don't think in my view, I would argue that like the toddler uh, drawing with a crayon is a work of art. Uh, it might be a work of art that is not valued particularly high for whatever reason, but I think it's still a work of art, and I think it towers above the even the more visually appealing outputs of some AIs in the fact that it is a, a living being expressing its experience that it is processing through its own mind. Well, yeah. I... I I'm not trying to be cheeky with you by saying sure. this, but I have a two-year-old, and I guarantee you there's no specific intentionality when she picks up a crayon and whips it as hard as she can against the tray of her high chair oh. and manages to leave it. Like, without, you know, she she literally, she doesn't understand the crayon drawing. I mean, She accidentally I leaves would, marks behind disagree. with the crayon. I mean, sure, accidentally no, she, is one thing. She, but I, I don't think you're right about that. I think, like... The kids draw with crayons because they like the colors, which is a totally valid and intentionality for creating art. Sometimes you just create art because it pleases you. Um, and that's a pers a, that is a thing that an AI algorithm cannot do. It is fundamentally Well, like, again, just, just remember, that. my contention is not that the AI is going to purposely, intentionally create anything. The AI is the medium that a person sits down and intentionally creates through. I mean, of course, peop people are going to make AIs that are going to try to hijack other AIs to have them shitting out art so they can offload that server process onto something else. Well, and that doesn't, yeah, but, you know, but the, the, whole thing the is layers that... of separation don't change the fact that, like, the... somewhere along the way, a human had to be involved in this. And that's where the potential for it to be art uh is present. I, I do think that there is a potential, um, but I think that, that a lot that the vast majority, like, I don't know. Yes, if we go into a complete world of abstraction and we say, yes, what if there's an artist who you, does nine hundred thousand prompts and then weaves those together into something? I think that they have engaged in an artistic process for sure. Um, 
I have no problem with that. But that's not what we're talking about. At least, I mean, that's not what I've talked about in the past. Um, if that's if that's all we're talking about, if we're talking about somebody like, I mean, I don't see how that's any different from somebody, um, that type of process, besides the like potential ethical concerns of like where this stuff is being sourced from. But even then, I don't think that's any different than somebody like, um, I don't know, like using, um, using like pictures uh, it's cutting together pictures of a bunch of different comic books to tell a totally different story or somebody doing fan well, fiction or well, something but, like but that. But again, that's, really that's, that's, that. that's the thing, though, is because, you, again, you're assuming, and uh, reasonably so, but mm -hmm. you're making the assumption that the vast majority of, of what the AI actually generates is going to be stuff that it uses its ability to search the internet to fill in the gaps for. And of course, there's a huge potential for we that. Know and that. We going know that's to be, true in the current there's state. Going, there are absolutely going to be entire films, entire art, art galleries that are all made of just total bullshit that somebody put, you know, 17 seconds worth of effort into. Well, that's not exactly but, what I'm saying. I'm saying that, like, I'm saying, that, first of all, we know already that most existing existing AIs are explicitly trained um, on massive databases of, of, of yeah. stolen and unlicensed art from people who actually mm -hmm. are pouring their life experience, the contents of their mind, um, into something. And then that's being sort of, like, grossly scraped for data data which can then be assigned to certain signifiers to satisfy a customer basically so that that is already happening but what i'm trying to talk about here is that like i think that somebody who is conglomerating like the products of an ai into a bespoke artistic venture that they are that they are creating with those pieces is is making art in the same way that somebody who like makes a new comic book by snipping like pieces you know like imagine that you have somebody who wants to make their own comic book they don't know how to draw or whatever they only have a bunch of leftover comic books that they got in like uh, i don't know we'll imagine that they they were gifted a hundred thousand comic books they don't know how to draw they don't have any drawing materials but they want to tell a story so they start start snipping the head off of one character and 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 gluing it onto the body of another character mm -hmm. and they make their own comic book you know, using pieces of somebody else's art, but to tell something completely unique. That is also art, I would agree. I would argue, I would agree in the same way that's art. But when we're talking about like somebody making a prompt, like somebody sits down, types in a prompt into, into the AI, um, you could uh -huh. maybe argue that the prompt is art in the same form of like it's a small piece of prose that expresses what somebody desires i would and i've accepted that in the past as well on my previous arguments i've said that i think maybe you could argue the prompt is a is a small perhaps a limited piece of art but is a is a thing but the art that's produced it's the same thing as like um if you just sort of had a uh, uh like a slave and and you said you make me a sculpture now of me and then that 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 person who is yelling at somebody else and ordering them and they have no choice, they must make that sculpture. That person is not an artist and they are not producing art. Perhaps you could in certain circumstances, in the, in the case of like having a, somebody ordering a slave to do it, there's a human being that's using their talents and skills to do that. In the case of a AI, that's not really the case, but that, that, that is the, the final product would be the art in the case of a human of like a, of a person ordering a slave to do it and in the case of the computer it is not it is not even close to that but it would be and you would have to credit the ai as the artist but the problem is that we that then that brings up the question of the ai doesn't have a personality it doesn't it's explicitly limited from being that where we are at right now mm -hmm. is not that we are not we well, don't well, have ai that's why that i refer to it that's why I, that's that's the reason why I refer to the AI as a tool and not a medium and not an artist. The AI is the thing you're talking to to talk to the machine, and that's I, I realize we kind of wandered away from it a little bit. But the the reason I brought up the thing with my programming teacher is because the the whole point of that demonstration is computers are dumb machines. Mm -hmm. We think of them as very very smart because they're very fast, but when but it, it it's simple input output. The computer is not going to do anything that you have not told it to do. I mean, of course, there are exceptions to that. Technology has grown bigger. Computers can automatically handle some of their own functions and stuff now. But the bottom line is the computer is never going to come up with some radical new way of doing something right. apropos it, of nothing it, it because can't. it wants yeah. to. The computer doesn't want to do anything. It can sell you the illusion 
that it does. Right, the computer it can be programmed is for to input. use words that indicate want, yeah. but there is no the, want the, behind The that. computer is waiting for you to put input into it, and then it Correct. gives you back what it thinks that you want. Right, and, and that is why I don't think that most AI art that we encounter as it currently but, exists is, is art yeah. in any way. Um, it is, I agree. It is I, a, I, a I would I'd say for the most yeah. part, you. I would be willing to, I'd be comfortable with you saying that at this point in time, more than 99% of AI generated material is not actually art in the way that we think of art. But I do think the potential is there. And that's why I, I wanted to kind of jump on, you, you keep using the, the idea of slicing up comic books. And I sure, think that sure. still comes back to the idea that the the idea that all the AI is doing is scraping a database for information, but that's why I started by saying you as the user can override the computer's inclination to do that by being more specific, by being more literal in the way that you define things, but also by painting imagery yourself within your words. If the computer can't Maybe. find, can't I think figure that depends out what on you the AI, want, right? That depends on the algorithm. Again, right? yeah, and, and some that's, of them that's, are you know, own, like a lot of these are trained in such a way. Yeah, um, but I, that I, they don't. I'm not they talking. don't. They don't originate. Like, okay, if you talk to, if I talk, if I commission an artist, which I've done many times, I've commissioned many artists, mm -hmm. and I tend to be particularly hands-on, you know. But if I commission an artist and I say, uh, I want, you know, I, I'm looking for something that looks, you know, I'm looking for for this type of mood to be expressed that person, they can either not understand what I'm saying and ask further, or they go, okay, I understand that mood. That is a mood that I have felt that I, know, that I have also can call upon to express. The computer can't do that in the same way because it- Well, I mean, I mean yeah, like, hold on, because, because the could, person, I mean, it's not exactly the same, and I'm not trying to say that they are one-to-one -one the exact same, but that person that you at, that you commissioned could, in theory, lie to you and say they understand, and then instead of using their own interpretation, go on Google to look up a bunch of things related to what you said you want so that they sure, get they an could, idea of what even they're supposed then, to make. Even then, there's going to be like multiple levels more of... Uh, of, of uh, of an internal of an internal emotional uh, and interpretive process and a communicative oh. process that's going on that isn't present for the AI art. The AI, yeah. I mean, you could. I don't know for sure if there are like um, you know. I don't know to what extent a lot of these AIs like like how they are trained to understand certain terms. Um, but I, I know that the current ones are fairly limited on certain things. You know what I mean? Like generating a color yeah, and, is, and to be is clear, probably in possible. case I haven't said, yeah. I, I'm not talking about any, necessarily any AIs that we currently have, or at least currently have access to. Like this right. is, this is like, I, I am describing and I'll admit it sort of an idealized version of the AI. Like just assume for the sake of this art, like remove the corporate entity thing we can't escape that and i recognize that i i i'm uh, i mean I'm i think that's a big that. thing I wish, to like to like wish, not wish, to like sidestep you know what i mean it's like well, um the, the corporate element of ai it, art it, is part of what makes it so malignant like is that is that like we're asking for a tool that in order to produce what we are searching for the goal is art art is uh -huh. it, it's like like it or not, uh, to even to, to the raging of of of, of the the machine-minded in the world, uh, art is a something that humans desire. We don't, you know, for one reason or another, we need this shit. It drives us. It makes us live. Um, and so the goal, uh, ostensibly, is uh, in the ideal is to be able to make art. But the cost in what you're in your model we're saying that like okay maybe in a in a certain ideal circumstance we could create a tool that would allow us to create art and i'm saying okay that's possible maybe there's probably some way in which you could do it but the path to get there requires accepting all of this other stuff that would destroy nearly everything else that you need in order to make art in the first place um, that you would need to even gain inspiration to be able to use that tool. If we imagine AI as a tool, it's a tool that comes at an incredible cost. It's, an, it's a tool that comes at such a cost that I don't think that it's what it would enable would be, uh, would be justified. It would be like if um, you could replace 
uh, if you could replace pianos with uh, like a, sur a, a new invented special type of synthesizer that may or may not be any easier to use or sound any better, but also comes at the cost of uh, you know every you know pianist in the world starving. And it's just like, oh I, god. Well, right. hold on, hold on. Yeah. Can you can you expand on that a little bit? I, I I understand. I think the thrust of where you're going with this that like there's a significant danger of putting you know all or most artists out of work in some way, shape, or form over this. Is that is that what you're getting at with the piano? Oh, yeah, thing? for sure. It's not just that it okay. puts, it's not just that it puts artists. Well, because 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 you know I, I'm very literal minded or machine minded as as you as you put it a second ago. So you're leading me by the hand down this thing. Where you're like, imagine it's it's a piano and it's like a synth. So it looks like a piano. It may be functionally no different, but somehow it precludes anyone from ever using an actual piano again. And well, I, for a second, I just kind of my brain just kind of disconnected for well, a second. Not that like, it would prevent them get... from ever using a real piano again. It's just that like it would, it's another tool, you know. Because the way you describe well, AI as a tool is like you're sort of talk. You compared it before to like a paintbrush. Well, it's a paintbrush that, in order to create it, in order for it to get to the point where it can be used as a paintbrush, uh, we would need to do um, perhaps irreparable damage to uh the, the the rest of the world of painting so like like to add to so in the case the specificity of ai um and i know this is kind of like this is why i said it's like kind of a big deal to side i have a hard time just like sidestepping that and only thinking about ideals or else i find it fairly low value to just go maybe there's some circumstance because well AI, yeah i mean the the ideal thing is to establish you know the the idea the it, that's just to establish the hard black and white elements of what we're talking about. I think we've both already agreed that AI generated content can be art. Sure. Now we're arguing I mean, in about certain what makes yeah, it in art, specific what makes context, it not art. Yeah, I think it could. Yeah. But then, but here's the thing. So yes, there are certain types that I believe could be. Like I said, the the the, the sort of the the I want to say bricolage, but I don't know if that's the right word. Um, the collage type example is I do believe that would be mm -hmm. art. I don't have any uh, problem with that. Um, but uh, what, so to get to that point, to get to the point where an artist could uh, use AI to generate all kinds of images that are then recontextualized and used to tell a story, we have to have all of these AI tools. And all of these AI tools um, have an immense cost. They have an immense environmental cost and they have an immense economic cost and they also have an immense cultural cost. And that's where that's where my position of being so strongly anti AI, quote unquote AI art, comes from, which is that we're talking about the invention of a novelty tool that may or may not actually lead to the production of any interesting art, um, and it's a tool that would cost uh, artists and the art world and future artists a lot. And to explain a little further on that specific point. Um, Think of it like this. Okay, so in, in a craft, so for someone to become a filmmaker, um, they have to study a whole lot of film. They have to engage mm. with other filmmakers. Uh, they are going to be watching other people's films, participating in other, making other people's films. They're going to be going back and forth. Like the real process of making a great film um, is, is pretty complicated. There's a lot of cooperation. There's a lot of engagement with pre-existing stuff. You're going to be learning from mentors. There are pools of experience that you can tap mm -hmm. into and learn from. These things get destroyed when you introduce a product that allows corporations to sell um, bullshit even if it only lasts, even if even if you know these corporations just for a few years uh, uh, massively downsize the film industry to produce AI generated stuff, you're talking about the decimation of uh, of of flows, of ways that people mm -hmm. learn, of ways that people come to be able to speak through their art. And so, sure, you might introduce a new tool, but you may have destroyed the ability for us to get the type of art that we want to see in the world. You're talking about cultural destruction um, for, a tr for a bad trade-off, in my opinion. Well, I mean, I, 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 if you're saying that it's a bad trade-off, I'd trade be pretty much willing I'd be pretty much willing to grant you that idea on some level, but you know, once upon a time, painting was done on cave walls. When's the last time you saw somebody do a cave painting? 
people do cave paintings all the it, time. Mediums, mediums do, do like, I'm sorry, say that again. I, I said people do that type of stuff. People do the same thing all the time. People do the equivalent act Go and do cave literal painting. cave Okay. Like, well, yeah, I, I, mean, I haven't. I don't know. I, like, I, I couldn't tell you the last time I saw somebody. I mean, nobody does the style the of, of like, like, like. I don't know what the what's the cave paintings in France. Those famous because, uh, because that's because that culture literally is dead. They died like a hundred thousand years ago. Sure, but we have those preserved. Obviously, but people do the same thing all the time. If yeah. You, if you climb, if you clamber your way into an underpass and you spray a little stick figure on the wall, you've done a cave. You've done the equivalent of a cave painting. I yeah, don't think there's any but, previous uh, development in art that 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 has any comparison. Even like even uh, computer generated sounds or anything like that even comes close to what we're talking about with AI art in 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 destructive potential. Um, especially given well, the, the, I mean, yeah. destructive potential, yes. But I think the destructive potential of AI has less to do with the tool itself and more to do with the like the mostly linear evolution of different kinds of artwork i mean there's there's all sorts of different visual artwork especially from before computers were commonplace sure that incorporate more than just video and in some cases even use audio in some way shape or form mm -hmm. there are pieces yeah. of visual art that you touch as well because texture is a part of the art no doubt. so there's you know, it's so I just put my foot in my own mouth because I said a second ago that it's linear and now I'm explaining that it's a big fucking puddle spread out on the ground. Right. But the point is, a lot of these have come and gone. There are entire mediums of art that were around just a few decades ago that have, for the most part, died out. Sure, but that and doesn't that doesn't it doesn't mean, mean like... it doesn't mean that a person can't pick like like the thing you said about the piano. Like you said, it doesn't it doesn't exclude a person from still going and playing a piano if they want to. Um, it's just that it's going to become pretty uncommon. But isn't that already yeah, the case? Like, How why... often do people really sit? I mean, I know that people do it. I I'm a musician. I've spent a lot of time around musicians, but comparatively how often does a person really sit down at a grand piano versus a synth these days uh i mean all the time or, I, like pretty frequently i mean i don't know like like i mean obviously there's a there's a huge financial there there is and always has yeah. been a financial wall between that and that's terrible but i don't think that um i don't think that they're even comparable to what's happening with ai with with so, quote unquote ai art i don't think that's at all I just like, i i just what we're i don't talking about I'm um, trying to attack this from different angles, but I just I don't buy I just I don't buy the premise that making other art forms obsolete in some people's eyes is the same thing as destroying them and making them go away. I forever. don't believe it's making them obsolete. That's the thing. That's I don't that's not wasn't my argument and that hasn't been my argument. Okay. I don't think AI art will okay. make anything obsolete. I don't think it has the capability. Okay, well I, I shouldn't so. I then I then I shouldn't what it have has used the, the word capability, obsolete. What but. it has what it has the capability to do um is to uh is to be uh, is to be a weapon that is leveraged, and I think this is quite literally why they're being designed. And you can see tons of people talking about it all the time. AI art supporters, gung ho AI art people, love to talk about how this will make you know it, it's a, it's like a cost saving measure and all these types of things. People don't like the mm. product. The, the reason why people like people play with synths and all kinds of stuff is tons of people love playing with a the synth. There's a there's a joy in it, and it's a beautiful thing. Mm. Um, people don't like AI art. It sucks. We all laugh at it. Everybody fucking hates it. The only, but the well, thing hold on. is, are you, are you saying that, are you saying that people don't like using the AI or people just don't like a, and I, mean, I don't think it's, I don't think it's really AI, either. Those I, mean, are not I think the, same the vast thing. majority of people get really, really bored really fast, but that doesn't really matter. What I'm trying to say is, is that I don't believe that AI art is an obsoleting, is like an obsolescence machine. What I think it is, is I think that it is a, a basically a cynical, a environmentally damaging, severely environmentally da damaging, cynical cash grab that can be used to quote unquote disrupt industries um, that will kill things that people do like um, and people won't have much of a choice in it. It's not like, um, I'm not talking about like, a, you know, an art form that, you know, uh, that fell out of popularity because, you know, for whatever reason or another, you know, life moves on and people didn't find that interesting anymore. I'm talking about something where you don't get a choice in the matter. You, uh, if D Disney decides to adopt, I mean, they've already, they've already used AI art in a bunch of stuff. Um, oh, if yeah. they decide to adopt that, 
uh, and fire all of their artists, there is now a massive void that has been created against everyone's will that could put these people out of practice, could put them out of work, could put them out of the ability to teach or do anything. Sure, there will always be people carrying on, but we are all, culture will suffer as a result of that. Because not because culture isn't naturally moving on to AI art. It's not like AI art came out and is better than the other thing. You know, it's just that it's easier to sell and the corporations that powers that be, these gigantic mega, mega companies can choose to push whatever the hell they want on us. It's like like streaming garbage. Like there's a certain natural uh, inclination towards people going, hey, it's cool to be able to stream videos at home. Do you think that anybody asked for 900,000 separate streaming apps? No, nobody had a choice in that. You got to no. deal with it because that's what corporations but you know what? did that's... to make money. But the, so... I'm trying to, I'm struggling between what I was going to say up until that point and the thought that just sprang on me at the last second when you, uh, when you turn the conversation in that direction. So, um, yeah, like AI is a tool that can be used to put artists and storytellers and musicians out of work. And that's terrible, but that, <sighs> Other than the rate at which it happens, which is alarming, but other than the speed at which it can accomplish that, is it really that much different in practice than the way a giant mega company like Disney releases the same film three or four or five times yes. over and over and over again? Drastically, I don't think it's drastically worse. No, I, I don't think it's functionally different, and here's why. Oh, not it's drastically not because, worse. Like, in a, no, in a, in a perfect world, it, they would be drastically different. But here's the thing. And if you go and watch one of these fucking Disney remakes. I've seen a million I, Disney remakes. Those, the, the best Disney, those the worst Disney remake is 100 times better than literally anything I've ever seen produced by AI. Not even uh, well, close. That's, I mean, and on you, top of that's, that. That's about yeah. subjective quality. But I'm saying, like, those, I, I, when I watch one of those Disney remakes, I don't see the stamp of an artist making making new decisions on what to bring to the table of these old films. I see this old film filtered through the lens of what the kids are into today and then shit out in that form. And I, I mean, don't think that's art. I mean, but, I, I, but, yes, okay, in a very literal you can way, say that, but, to some people but, in some ways, but I, I think This is just a situation I, of like, you don't know how bad it can get. Like. Uh, if like I urge you to look closer, like we all like to dunk on on movies that suck, but uh, a movie like The Lion King and as at, you know the Lion King remake or whatever, as f horrifically flawed and corporatized as the process is, there are still literally hundreds of thousands of people each infusing their own unique touch into that. And some of the stuff that's in there is still incredible, is still an amazing feat in and of itself. And yes, it is bad that it's used by a corporation, but a corporation being able to f like f downsize and fire all 100,000 of those people and then replace it with five guys typing prompts into a giant environment destroying machine, uh, those 100,000 people then no longer I, have any path to art creation. Yeah, that's bad. That's like that's like a bad transition. That's like a horrible I, I, direction for things to go. Like it's a bad state I'm sorry to begin to derail this. Yeah. I, I'm sorry to derail this, and I'm totally willing to come back to it, but there's something I've kind of glossed over. You keep mentioning environment destroying. And at yeah, first yeah, I kind of took that to mean metaphorically, like the, the landscape of art, but you're talking literally the environment. Yeah, I'm talking literally the environment. Okay. Well, I, ju I just yeah. wanted to clarify that. I don't disagree with you on that. I just I was I was taking your meaning wrong the last time, the last couple times you used that phrase, and I, I wanted to make sure that I didn't continue to misread you when you said environment destroying. I thought you were saying that like metaphorically, as in the artistic landscape. I mean, I uh, think yeah, both the apply, way, the way but that no, AI... quite literally, yes. They the current yeah, the no, current no, form, I, like... I understand what you're saying, and, and I agree. I mean, this this is. Yeah. I mean, to say this is imperfect technology is to vastly undersell it. I mean, these things are powerhouses. It's 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 like I it's, said, it's, it's, it's choosing it's choosing to like burn down a forest for basically nothing. I don't think we're getting anything uh, good out of it. I think it's a giant bubble that's being sold to us by a bunch of tech charlatans. I ha I treat it with hostility because I believe it deserves hostility. And it's not that I don't think that there is any potential use of AI art that could be artistic. I just don't think that there's any that's compelling. 
Um, no, and the costs I, I really are too think great. you need to turn your. I really think you should be turning your ire on the people making decisions on how AI is used, not the AI itself. I well, think is 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 maybe 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 that's kind of the bottom line of what I'm trying to get to here. Like, the AI isn't going to decide to fire everyone at Disney and replace them with five copies of itself. I mean, itself. that's where nine person like, like almost all of my arguments are are directed in that exact direction. I just yeah, also but again, like, like you you keep know, you you came back to saying I treat AI with hostility because it deserves hostility, and I'm saying I don't think the AI deserves hostility at all. I think. But, your okay, real I problem treat, I is say, with I the, treat, people, quote the people AI. in charge and the yeah. way it's used. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I, I think that's kind of like a uh, that's kind of a nitpick, and it doesn't really like when I say AI, I'm talking about this current well, form. Like, I don't think that the term AI even applies to what we have now. I think that in and of itself is like unfortunately I, it's a, like I, 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 I think grit you're my actually teeth correct I about it. that. I think I think generative language model is an accurate description of what we have. I think artificial intelligence. Because when I think artificial intelligence, and I'm not trying to be a, a dork, but I think Cortana. Yeah, of course. You like, know, I, Cortana yeah, has like a, like infinitely a, more a person, abilities than one of these AI does. It's essentially, by. yeah, it's essentially a human brain mapped into a computer. And with, other than the fact that she can do things at 100 million times the speed of a person, she is, for all intents and purposes, a person. And that is not what we have right now with AI. And, and that, I would I totally agree with you. I think generative language model is a more accurate description of what we actually currently have. And to that, again, like what, what we kind of started this conversation with, I don't think the art lies in the language model's ability to shit out something visually for you. The art lies in the person making the prompt. And you can say that even even at its best, you think that it's still just collaging together things like newspapers. I mean, but is. I don't think that necessarily yeah. tracks. I, I think, think just because we haven't seen it yet, that doesn't mean that we're not going to reach like. Well, I don't I'm, say I don't that. I don't say that. Like, I don't it. say that to like insult it. I think like there is there are incredible uh, works of art that are like collage based works of art that are like mm -hmm. using other things like. Those, th that's a real thing that can be pretty amazing. I mean, like, hell, like, people yeah. even make, like, fucking anime music videos that are just chopped up footage of an anime that they like. No, well, no, no. Music. An anime amazing. was a mistake. Anime is an art form that never should have come into being. Oh, I couldn't and, disagree um, with you more, it's, I think. Uh, I it's, think, I, yeah, I, I disagree with that, too. I'm just being fallacious. But, um, uh, <laughs> I, I just, because the re I said it because you brought up the collage description again and again and it feels to me like you think that right now that is all it's capable of and i'm telling you i really think that the problem is that's what we're seeing right now because people still aren't good enough at talking to this thing this is a new art of language this is the art of speaking to a computer in a specific way to get what you want and it's going to continue to shit out derivative shit until people really crack the code on what the precise way to mix you know, poetry and passion with, you know, mechanical definitions of things. You know, uh, you're going to have to, maybe. the people who are really maybe. able to make impressive shit with this are going to have to be able to balance painting imagery in their words, but also being able to get down to the cold calculating, like, and then this person's well, arm will move at a 35, you know, will transition to a 35 degree angle and they will okay. do this but like, with their with their hands At, and, and again, you know it's when we get to that point it's like why not just make a fucking movie then why not because just not go yeah, and, and well else? that's where we get to that's where we do get to cost because not everybody has the means to just create stuff it's like not that. it's not just a matter of cost though it's just like you're now talking about a level of so first of all there's a couple of things here first of all every single product that's an a that claims to be an ai is going to have its own f future and there might not be <laughs> a way in which you can uh, artistically woo the computer to do what you want it to do because you don't really have full control over that. And who knows, these products also might just be defunct in a year. It's not well, like, I, a, I, think I mean, yeah, there's, I think... there's, there's, there's definitely something that, that, that like, yeah, there's definitely going to be a technique that somebody could use to make the art, to make the AI generate an image in a certain way. And I think there could be some level of artistry in that. But um, I don't know. I guess that's like, to me, that I'm not super compelled by that. Maybe some people are. Um, and that's fine. Uh, I, I definitely don't think that like, uh, I don't think that like, 
I, I don't know. I guess I don't have a problem with somebody who's like, oh, it'd be well, cool to figure out how to do that. But um, to me, it just seems like um, in order to find that compelling, you have to ignore the uh, the uh, maliciousness of those who are creating and who own these products. You have to ignore the potential, the the fact that these products are are <laughs> like learn being trained uh, with no consent being involved at all whatsoever. Um, automatically off of potentially stolen art. You have to then also consider the environmental damage. I don't, I can't remember if I said that or not. Um, you, you have did. to consider. <laughs> we we um, talked about that a little I bit. I mean, uh, yeah, in the past, but I mean, like, in this particular. I'm saying these are all the things you have to weigh to get yeah. to the point of going, yeah, maybe it's compelling if somebody knows how to, to robot whisper okay. well, well, to make like, it I, produce I an image. I, and I haven't seen anybody do that. You, yeah, maybe, maybe someday. There's gonna be like a group of people who can AI whisper really well, and they'll make it make like a, it'll look like it's a movie or something. And to me, I just go, well, you know, make a movie then. Like, if, yeah, if but that's we... that's why I said like when I say when I said it, yeah, cost for many people is one of the biggest barriers. But all well, doesn't like, that bring up a question? As I, to don't why, have, like, I don't why have like I don't have twenty people that I suits I cost couldn't... so much. Like, huh? I'm sorry, say that again. Doesn't it kind of bring? Doesn't it kind of make you question when you come to that thing and you go, well, why, why is it that I can uh, spend forever typing into this program and not spend any money? And you know, doesn't it make you ask any questions? Like because to me that makes me go, oh, no, not really. Because well, okay, let me, let me let me drop. Uh, okay, well, this is getting into politics, so you know, I, I'm just gonna give you my fucking flash take, and then we don't have to go down that road. But I, I want I'm a about fucking, politics most of the time. I want a fucking post capital society. Uh, it's not gonna happen in my lifetime or the next lifetime, but I think that is the trajectory of of, of a healthy human uh, species. The so people, I the people do think... pen, pen, selling you fucking AI art definitely don't agree with your view of the future. Yeah, and they're gonna use I that don't tool. Care, to I don't care it. what the. <laughs> Do, uh, I think it's worth I, paying attention to. I don't think you can just hand wave that. I think you have to go, hold on a second. The reason why it's cheaper to produce some fucking AI uh, thing right now is because, first of all, the cost is offset onto uh -huh. a mixture of the environment. The earth generally is paying the price. And also, okay. uh, you know, uh, you know the, 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 this is only made possible because of uh, massive tech exploitation all across the world. So those are yeah, your two but, general okay, well, But on let top me, of I mean, that, if... it's because you are the product right now. Right now. If you'll allow these... me to wander down the path the path a little further, because sure, I ahead, think I can clarify ahead. this a little bit. I mean, you may still disagree, but I think... Uh, how do I phrase this? Because I'm trying to not approach this from where the argument usually comes from, where people are just trying to convince you how what I just described, a post-capital world just can't work for X, Y, Z reasons. I'm trying not to come at it from there. I'm trying to come at it from this conversation. The reason that AIs, the reason that these language models are now being created and the reason they're being sold aggressively the way they are to us um. is because we we live in that capital society. But I don't think for a second that if we were... It, if if Thanos snapped his fingers tomorrow and we had a communist utopia, uh -huh. I still think people would be working on creating generative language models and AI. They just wouldn't be doing it because they wouldn't it wouldn't be the same people who are doing it now because those people are doing it for profit. It would be the sure. people who are actually just passionate about this who are working. Yeah, on this I mean thing. I, I totally just agree like, with you. I think even, even if you take away that, the money but... incentive to work on cars, people still work on cars because they like cars. If you take away the money, the incentive to make art, there will still people, there there will still people, there will still be people who make art because they want to. I think there'll be and more so people. I know I'm, I know I'm I'd idealistic about, about this, yeah. but I'm, I'm, I'm coming at this from the position of like, yes, the the AIs, quote unquote, we have now are corporate schlock products meant to exploit us, and that's horrible. But that is not the absolute limit of this technology. Yeah, I don't, agree. I don't, I don't think that it is the absolute limit. But I think that that it's very hard to have a conversation about AI art in the current world without acknowledging what its current, what, what the current. Oh, context I is. It's it's a nightmare. Like, I don't disagree and with you. Are you, I don't uh, disagree are you with familiar you. with the? Hold on a second. I don't. I don't disagree with you 
that in a in a you know a, a post capitalist future that there would be people who would have I mean I, like there's people who like have a lot of lo like love and have a lot of fun um, like this is not even a fair analysis because I think uh, but whatever but who love making stuff with like Miku and these vo vocaloids and stuff like that yeah and and of course they do but I don't but but that's the thing that I don't think that in that post you know capitalist world or anything like that first of all I don't I feel like products like AI and it like as it is without huge technological advantage advancements would would not would they help prevent a world like that from happening by being massively destructive to the environment. But secondly, if that would if that could be solved, the environmental aspect, I think they would they could just exist as like a, a novelty or a tool that could be used to make other things. Um, that's why I don't agree that I don't think that AI is an ob like is going to make anything obsolete. I don't think AI is going to make art obsolete. I think we're, it's going to be shoved down our throats because corporations have have a vision. The, the reason these products are there is because it's being pushed by tech disruptor types who are like, guys, imagine you could make all the coolest art that you could ever imagine. Just close your eyes and you could have a cool painting and uh. you don't got to pay anybody for it. You don't have to learn how to draw. You don't got to do any of that. They're selling a fantasy. And that fantasy... Yeah, they're, they're, yeah, that's, yeah, we used to call that sitting... We used to call that closing your eyes and imagining something. Yeah, exactly. It's just that now... It's they, just that now, so in magic, a rudimentary way, at least, but you can you can shit that internal image in your brain onto a onto a digital canvas to some extent. And like we like I said, that like like we talked about earlier, it's not going to be the guy who types a one sentence prompt who gets the exact image in his brain that he right. was picturing. It's going to be somebody who really attacks this thing for an extended period of time, really learns how to use it and how sure. to communicate with it. And, and that the re person, yeah, and so like. There will, there are yeah, probably some people who are going to. Um, there are probably some people out there who are like they want to do it that way, and that is their vision, and that's great for them, and I support them in that. And I would say that if that's what you're doing, you're probably making some form. You're you're making art. I think that that fits totally fine. However, okay. um, I think that what what is lacking in this conversation, if you just leave it at that, and you just sort of you have to ignore all of the everything else, which is that. Um, that Apple commercial that everybody got mad about is like the perfect oh example God. of what I'm talking about yeah. because the people who the people are are we're, we're gunning towards a world where the art that you will be allowed to be made will be uh, the Matrix style thing. Yeah, sure, you can make <laughs> art if you plug 900 hours helping our language learning model improve itself for only 5.99 a month. You can make this when people would otherwise. If in a better world, in a world that's even slightly better, they might actually go and take that exact same amount of time and just go make a movie. And, and like, people would do that. Like, there's, there's, I think there's a very small amount of people who are like, I must make my art by spending 900 hours refining prompts from a machine. Those same people, no, that well, person with that creative urge, yeah. there's going to be a ton of people with creative urge who would like to go do that with a film, but... Or, or 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 an instrument, but we can't because we have a a, a a whole bunch of other things. And one and in the world of art, AI is threatening to make art even harder to access. Part of by destroying art jobs, by destroying uh, art industries, these flows that exist in spite of jobs. You know, like um, like art expertise. Uh, exists like like as like a super super uh, what's the right word a super strata over uh, existing art industries you know um, there's this old saying in film that like people talk about with like auteur directors that's like uh, one for them one for me you know you do a movie for the mm. studios so that you have enough money to do something on your own if that's gone you don't get to do one for you either and sure it's right. bad that you can basically that the current state but even without destroying capitalism we can acknowledge that there are existing uh flows of expertise that there are artists who are who are making great works and teaching other people and in, and involving them in those and those get destroyed if you can boil the film industry down to 500 guys typing in prompts for 400,000 hours instead of 900,000 different workers all honing their craft in an imperfect work environment. You see what I mean? It's like bad. And those and people and humans have to eat. They die quickly if they don't eat. Their their skills get rusty. So well, it doesn't I, take do you long. Do you have any proof of that? <laughs> 
Oh what? Do you have any have proof that humans die if they don't eat? Yeah, uh, no, I'm, I don't. I'm just. You know, I just, I yeah, just, I'm, I'm, it's just, it's just a gut feeling. You know, I'm following my intuition yeah. as an artist. Yeah. <laughs> gut feeling. Yeah. Like hunger. Exactly. Yeah. So that's uh, what I'm, I'm saying. I, I'm I was saying really that... just trying to make a joke. I didn't mean to totally derail you like that. No, you're, I, I guess I fine. thought it was going to bounce off of you. Um, it's all good. The thing is, is just that I think that AI, the reason why I am so hostile to, to the AI, you can call it the movement, whatever. I just shorthand it as AI is because I believe that that's it's basically obvious intention. The obvious intention is for a bunch of tech disruptors to do Uber, but to creative industries. And creative industries are s sensitive. There will always be right. people digging away at it. There's insane people out there like myself uh, who will talk into a camera if there's one person wa watching. I'll talk into a camera or whatever if there's nobody watching. Uh, I've, I've done, I've written, I've been writing for years, doing art for years with nobody doing anything. And it's been really hard and really difficult sometimes when you don't have money to support it and you have to go do other work that you don't want to do. Those people exist, but that's not everyone. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, and all of those people are diminished by not being able to focus on the things that they love. All of those artists who are slaving away in a sub shop, spending a, a few hours on the weekend making something in a world with, a healthy, with healthy art industries that aren't being fucking disrupted by corporations all the time, uh, could be could be work spending all their time working on art that they're passionate about and then teaching other people and creating new artists and making more art for us to enjoy. And in an AI art world, it's like nobody's going to be doing that. There might be 900 employed prompt artists at Disney, and that's it. Everyone else is out of work. You're all going to be slaving it away at a sub shop, and, and that's it. Sure, there will be people still making art, but it's going to be harder to find. It's going to well, be harder to keep it up. Yeah, it's just the, yeah. the problem with that is when we, when we reach that point, and it's not even that I necessarily disagree, but we won't be slaving away in a sub shop either because automation will have taken that. Yeah, that you'll job just away. be dead, or yeah. you'll be in the matrix. So, and to me, well, that, I that's think we should, and, and that. That, we should fight well, against that. We should fight against that type of world. Leads, see, I th I think I I understand you're saying like all of the ones that we have now are corporate products. That's bad. You're offloading your process onto the environment that's bad i i don't think we have a disagreement there but i still think the technology itself is not what is is what is is not what is deserving necessarily of the criticism it's the environment that creates this hostile condition in which this technology that's been theorized for you know decades is finally starting to show some signs that it's it's coming around it, I mean, it's this not is the, the fault this of is the program the, that it's a corporate fucking nightmare. Yeah, machine. but I don't, and I don't care. Yeah, some of these are going to have to go. I don't care. Like, I don't, I don't give a shit about the feelings of a program. Yeah, that's, you're right. That's why it's I started to way, go down. This, the... is, this would be like this would be like what you're what you, the argument you're making right now, which it sounds to me like basically you agree with the vast majority of my points. The argument that you're making right now is basically like when somebody says, "God fucking damn it, I hate cars." Uh, I and like somebody who's like you know you live in America and you have to be surrounded by cars and all the negative impacts of car culture in America and you go mm -hmm. fuck these fucking cars we should be we should be fighting against everybody owning a car and then you kind of respond by going well the cars didn't do anything wrong and it's like yeah it's true and there's actually some really cool cars out there but car culture uh, involves kind of like. In telling everybody that they have to buy a car and that everybody's got to appreciate cars and it means that there's animals getting splattered and humans getting splattered and everybody getting uh you know uh polluted and and, and their cities looking like shit like well i think it's I, I hard mean, to think... disentangle the technology from the way the technology is used and sure as a thought experiment that's totally fine to be like yeah i think there's an ideal world like I mean, I can even do that with cars right now, and I have a lot of problems with car culture. You know, there are there are all kinds of applications for cars I can think, but that's not the world we live in. You know, and I don't mm -hmm. find that much value in just sort of, I don't know, imagining uh, uh, that an AI could be used in one way when we're sitting here watching as corporations are making moves to do exactly what I am prophesying. You know what I mean? When I'm saying, hey, the industries that we all care the most about, that shit that makes you live every day when you get home and you go, oh, thank God, I can put on some music or I can uh, I can watch a movie or play a video game, that shit that gives you a reason to live, that stuff that makes you feel stuff, that shit is in extreme danger right now on more than one front, but specifically on this AI front. I feel like 
it's not much of a consolation to anybody to be like, well, the AI technically could be used in some way well. It's like, yeah, well, we're a long way away from that being able well, to be happening. And right now, the tool is trying to be shoved down our throats as a disruption to industries that we actually care about. Well, well, then, then let me ask you this. So you're saying, uh, granting that, you know, you're saying that we should be fighting against this technology as a whole, basically, sure. at this moment, right? Um, is that, is yeah, that... I mean, like, with, yeah, I mean, I, I would say that we should basically, yes, we should be fighting against this technology, okay. essentially as a whole. I, I, I don't think that there's anything yeah. wrong in, like, thinking about it, but as they exist, um, I think that people should find every way to disrupt them. I love the, the companies That's what that I was are, about to yeah. ask you. So what, so, so in what way do you disrupt it? Oh, well, I mean, I mean an example, by, a perfect example. Just not using it? Um, because... I mean, I think I think abstaining from use, like refusing to contribute to these things, does yeah. help. But I think that's it only like, does so much. That's like much. the most basic thing you can do to to fight against it. But you're still gonna like, and by your own admission, I mean, no matter how far you run, this shit's gonna catch up with you at this point. No, I don't no, know if you've read uh, like like Danny has it, brought but... up. No, no, like Danny has brought up and chatted. The other thing I was gonna say is like stuff like Nightshade, tools that actively disrupt AI. Uh, Nightshade is a um, is a pr there's a couple of these now that exist. Um, they are uh, data scramblers. Basically, it's a um, you can you, you can't peep, humans can't perceive it. It's put into digital art files when you post them to the internet. You can use this tool called Nightshade is one of them. I can't remember what the other one's called. Um, and they put a invisible layer um, over. Uh, uh, of data over any image that you post or that you save. And and these are included in certain, um, like, uh, not Photoshop, but um, there's a couple of tools that include these now. You put it over it, and if it gets sucked into an AI, it creates a whole bunch of junk data that um, yeah, so, that works I mean, it. That's excellent. I, mean, that's not, I, that's not I think everybody should be doing from, uh, that. So, so encryption, essentially. Not just encryption. I think that people should find, if there was a way to create, like, data bombs that could be vacuumed up, by these uh, by these AI models, and it would just completely uh, damage, like spread through and damage their data sets. That would be amazing. I don't know that we know how um, to do that, but I think that would be really cool. Problem, if that was something that could be invented. I guess if you could demonstrate that you could do that in a way that's only really going to affect the AI itself when it tries to suck this thing up and use it, then I'd agree. But if your data bomb involves removing entire encyclop encyclopedias worth of information from the internet so that oh, the computer can't that. try to use it. That's, that's well, different. I don't, I don't well, see any reason why that thing. would have to be done. Well, I don't either, but I'm saying like, I, I like when I just try to peer into the future and see like, how do we accomplish what you just said? I don't know that you can necessarily do one without the other. Oh, now, maybe I don't, I'm wrong I don't, about that. I, I, maybe, never, I don't know. I I'm not a technical expert. I am, I am on the art you, side yeah. of things. I'm saying, Hey, yeah. Those of you out there who know how to disrupt these things, we should do it. We should be fighting yeah. these. We should well, be fighting these yeah. things on all fronts. We should be fighting them on legal fronts. We should be fighting them on uh, uh, on on cultural fronts. My job as a as a as a, a as a, a person who goes on the internet and dresses up in funny clothes and makes tries to make compelling arguments, which I feel like I do a pretty good mm -hmm. job at. My job is I'm fighting on the cu cultural front. When I when people see. AI in its current form right now, I want them to feel anger, justified anger and disgust. I want them to resist these things, to be, to see, uh, more importantly, I want them to understand why when they look at AI, it doesn't provoke the same feeling that it does when you sit down and you look at a painting like the ones that are sitting behind me. You know what I mean? I want people, well, to, be I mean, to, right I want now, people to be able to I mean, articulate that because a lot of people don't have those tools. Media literacy well, is something that some people will call it, is uh, you know, the ability to understand what you're looking at and to find what you're looking for in, in art. I want to be able to equip people to do that. That's why I spend a lot of well, time talking about art and talking about this subject. I, you know, when we started to go down the political road earlier, I mean, I, I just, not that it's, necessarily the topic here but i i also think in in our crazy uh post-capitalist world i think media literacy would actually increase because people would have time on their hands you know you wouldn't you wouldn't have an hour or so a night of free time to sit and watch fucking Grey's Anatomy. Well, you're talking about you know, a post-capitalist have... world? Yeah, I don't disagree with you on that. I'm not a yeah. capitalist. I'm yeah, explicitly I mean, I'm, not that's, a capitalist. That's I'm, I'm, saying, like, I'm like a vocal anti-capitalist. Yeah. We don't have to... That. Yeah, I was just saying, like, that's that's another little thing where, like, I think... I think we disagree because of the current the current climate of AI on certain things. 
but I think sure. we probably would end up in, in the same common ground in a different, more ideal scenario where this technology is not so obviously tainted by corporations. Yeah, well, I, mean, where, I think we you know, would. I think this conversation saying... has demonstrated that in a purely abstracted and different context, like a different tool that does similar things would be okay, but that's not the world we live in. And when I have okay. these well, conversations, I mean, I'd be I'm most interested that, in but... Yeah, if, if we're walking away from the abstraction and we're just talking about the corporate nightmare that is products and product placement and people being products, I mean, yeah, like that 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 bleeds all over everything and makes everything terrible. Well, and I I don't think we're gonna disagree about that either. Yeah, I just I don't think I don't I don't think we should minimize that as just like, you know, as a lesser like as a lesser conversation or even as anything else like the tools as they exist right now are deeply 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 flawed so like mm -hmm. in in an in a purely uh world of thought experiment yes there is probably art that could be created of value with tools that that resemble in some way or are built off of something that resembles what we see today but that's not what we have and that's not the world that we live in at all so I just think that like we have to grapple with that. And I think that's a very important conversation to have, especially for me. That's where my motivation comes from is that uh, I love art. My life would have, uh, would be horrible without the, I don't think I could live without art. It's like, I don't I, think anybody can really young, live without art. Yeah, I mean, even, even people who think reflexively, yeah, I could live without art. They probably just aren't aware of how many different things around them are art in some way shape or form yeah so, i don't think i don't think so yeah, humans, i mean yeah, i think I, humans need creativity as a as a as a psychological uh, need and but th yeah. there is one more th there is one more little thing and i'm just right. wonder, wondering so sure you know you said right you said right now when an ai generates one of these images it does mm -hmm. not trigger the same thought or emotional response in us that a human made piece of art does and i agree with you it triggers the uncanny valley feeling because it looks me. generated but that's not going to be the case forever so what um, do you do I don't what, know what do you do true. once one of these things is able to actually generate photorealism in a way that i mean they already can generate photorealism some of them but they still break around the edges in some places. There's still some of the telltale signs, but those won't be there forever. So I, I don't think that, you, I don't know that I accept that because there's, there's, a, there's an aspect. Um, so AI art may be able to emulate certain um, aspects of the experience of enjoying art as it currently exists. You know, like I'm not just talking about Uncanny Valley. Let me give you an example of this. So okay. uh, recently, I finished watching a show that was incredibly creatively impactful towards me, incredibly inspiring. Um, that's the uh, Twin Peaks The Return. Um, Twin Peaks The Return is a really weird show, okay? And mm -hmm. um, a huge amount of the joy did come from just watching the show. Um, just sitting there and enjoying and taking in the visuals. But almost mm -hmm. immediately after that come the questions. What was meant by this okay. what and and that is so in like you might be able to create art that provokes the that first step emotion you might be able to go wow like for example i imagine that it would be possible in a couple of years time for art to for an ai to create a, a scene that appears visually similar to the uh, episode eight of twin peaks the return a famous episode a uh, mm -hmm. incredible, breathtaking visual experience um, that it might be able to create the visual experience, but it can never replicate the second order and all and third order and all the other things that come after that. Let alone once you get into the point of where where my tr my deepest enjoyment of the show comes from, which is learning about um, about all of the people who made that show, what they were feeling. I've watched hours of interviews about the actors and their experiences on these episodes that were so meaningful to me. And that creates a, a, a it, there's like this, there's so many layers to that, that, that literally do not exist with AI art. Mm -hmm. um, and they're inaccessible, first of all, even if you could, but in a lot of cases they don't exist. And AI art will never be able to do that. Well, oh, I, I don't think that's true because I think because again, oh. remember, we're we're not mm -hmm. talking about true, full blown AI. You know, we we say it shorthand, but again, yes. I, 
unless you disagree, I think generative language model is more sure. accurate. Generative language model. And yeah, so you're trapped in the, I think in the, there uh, will come a point when you know, even even though you can say it's really just ones and zeros happening in the background, and that's true, but there will come a point when this generative language model is capable of studying of you know of, of of taking a second look and deciding okay well besides the like why do i think that this would be important to a human that doesn't mean that it's going to come up with the right answer i'd be surprised if it comes up with the right answer very often at all but it's not i, I think you're wrong when you say it's like totally removed from possibility that one or more of these things is going to start to be capable of taking a deeper look at things. Well, and remember, I don't, like you said, I don't know lots that of that people matters. are media illiterate. I don't think that illiterate. affects my answer at all. Like, like I, um, I think like, it does. I don't think it does because because, because, because you also said because you also you, mentioned if that I'm a lot watching of people a piece are created by AI, if I am creating a piece that's created by AI, and I mean, uh, barring that, uh, that like. Um, barring like deception, like you don't know uh -huh. anything about it, um, then, uh, then, then I know. Okay, I'm gonna go. Okay, so this AI studied its databases really well. I have the answer to all of it. I know there is no meaning. It doesn't have meaning. Um, it can't have meaning because it wasn't created with meaning. You could say maybe somebody created an interesting prompt for that. But then you have to, then you'd have to be able to find the user, uh, and then you'd have then you'd be asking that, and that's you're starting to get into the point where it's like, it, is this thing, is this a situation where we've gone back to the example of somebody taking 900 hours and creating a collage of 900 different prompts, as it exists currently, no matter how realistic and effective the images created by a prompt can be, we know it was the meaning of this art is it was asked to do this. And that's the end of the question. That's, but again, you're assuming, I, I, I still don't accept the premise that the, that the model is the artist. I still think the person making the prompt is the artist. And Except I feel like you're an, but wandering it's... back in the direction of calling the AI itself an artist. Well, the AI would be, the AI is the one who created the thing, but the AI is maybe, not let me, let me, a machine. Maybe that's I the problem. You. That's why it's so uncompelling to me. That's why this art is so maybe, compelling. Maybe, uh, if maybe you I have didn't use precise real... enough language. Oh, hold on. What so I'm if saying you have is a real there will AI, come a point. Okay. Like a Cortana, that would be okay. interesting. I believe you could have the exact same experience with a piece of art um, that you would with uh, David Lynch's, uh, you know, Twin Peaks, The Return, with an, a Cortana level thing expressing its emotions. But we know mm -hmm. that that's not the case with AI art as with AI as a tool. And then you could go, okay, you can you can indeed say, well, what was the prompt that was used to create this AI generated art? And you know what? Maybe that's interesting to some people. I don't find it super uh, no, interesting, I, and I I'm, find I it think, flattened out. And uh, I yeah. think I, I think I may, maybe I maybe I sort of laid this out backwards to you because I think you're sure. coming from a different angle. What I, what I'm saying is. I don't mean. Of course, you'll you'll be able to use an AI to reverse engineer what another AI has created. Uh, that 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 wouldn't be surprising to me at all. I'm saying these things will become sophisticated enough that the person making the prompt can not only type in this you know huge pages and pages and pages long description of the scenes that it wants, the scenes that that person wants, but they can also say, "I want this to leave the impression of blank." I want that like here are the questions that I'm thinking about as I'm making this and these are the things that I that I, I want to make sure that we really stamp into this and I'm not trying again I'm not trying to necessarily remove all human intentionality from this I'm just saying you know you started by saying that, that there's no way the AI that, is ever going to pull but, but uh, you're saying you like there's say, no way I the AI is ever going to pull the wool I mean that 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 in and of itself that you saying i want this to create the impression of blank uh it produces in me a if that produces in me a feeling of deep disgust have you ever seen that that clip of i agree uh, of miyazaki I'm not, I'm like i'm not saying this you know is good. saying I'm that like, like i firmly believe that this is like an insult to humanity itself that's how i feel no when I, say I, that. I don't i don't he, think so he, i'm like we, when you get it already you established have, if you have ai to the point that you can tell it i want i want you to make people feel this way um that is like first of all the that it's never gonna work 
because no. emotions are way too complicated to be flattened out into here, here, hurry it up. You can't even, you can't make, even a, the most skilled artist cannot guarantee that someone's going to have that emotional response to their art, no, uh, let alone a machine being about. able to try and codify it. But what you're, what you're ultimately saying here is that the process of art is being boiled down to, well, I'm consuming a piece of AI art, sure. It might dazzle me with its visuals, and I can I can acknowledge and I'll accept that you that certainly someday, art will, uh, AI art will probably advance to the point that it looks more impressive. Excuse me, than it does right now. Mm -hmm. However, um, that does not mean that it that you will ever be able to fully engage in a satisfying or compelling like second order artistic engagement the parts that i care so much about in art and that i think but that, most that's what i'm people do i, I again I, i'm not saying that if you pick this thing apart layer by layer that it's gonna have you fooled the entire time but i i, I take an issue with your premise that this thing's just never gonna fool anyone and well, i like, feel like if it has to fool people that's a problem right? well, well, that, of like, course that's the problem. Then, but I, I'm, I'm then, just you are, about... then you are going to create another thing, which is that yeah. it that only it can only exist in deception, in raw deception. That somebody has to be it has to lie about the source of it, which um, that just seems a very grim outlook on the world. To me, I no, take I, joy I... in knowing that that another living, breathing being like me. Ha went through thoughts and put things together to reach a certain point, and I mean, that some they created of my favorite... this thing. Right? Are you a Star Wars fan at all? Uh, sh I Even mean, a little oh, bit. if I call myself a fan, but sure, a little bit. There's certain. There's okay, a well, lot of Star Wars so stuff I do like. There's a lot of. I have a lot of critiques for it. The reason, I well, I'm asking relations. just because you know you were you were talking about art that's impactful to you. Um, uh -huh. One of my favorite things, and I'm just gonna out myself as a complete fucking dork, is that I, I really love the commentary track that you can play over the original three Star Wars movies where yeah, George Lucas and that shit's Ben awesome. Burt, the sound designer, and Irvin Kirshner, the director of Empire Strikes Back, where they they talk over the film and they tell you scene by scene how these scenes were built, what they were thinking about, what they wanted, what they had in mind, what went wrong and what went right, mm -hmm. and the ways that things that went wrong were turned into things that went right. I love, love, love all of that shit. Right. I don't... So, so if like you're saying like that kind of thing is not going to be replicated by an ai i agree this it is a much yeah, different process but but that's but the thing what though. we were even even but, th that's the thing the only thing that you like so that process of getting to that point of even enjoying that is aborted when you know that it was made by an ai uh you right. know that this machine had no intentionality in it. it was following a prompt and perhaps you might be interested in what prompt was using but I think that that's a fundamentally less interesting question than what moved somebody to make this um, that happens with art that is not AI generated, that is not uh -huh. you know, language model generated. Now, uh, uh, w when, even if you were to follow beyond that, uh, so that's a, it's an abortive process. Even if you can uh, uh, obscure the fact that it was made by AI art, like say you find a, 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 a storage device a hard drive in the future that has a, a piece of art on it that has no credits nothing and you watch it and you're like wow that was pretty shocking um uh -huh. you can you could indeed ask the question i wonder what was meant by any of this and you will probably never find the answer and but the answer we all know in this hypothetical that the answer is nothing was meant by it it was built by an ai now you can right. get to the point of asking the question but that's where it stops and that's where it always definitively stops with AI. It can't no, go okay. further. Okay, so here's here's I, I still I think we're miscommunicating slightly. I, I I really don't think we're I think we're talking ever so slightly past each other. Maybe. <laughs> Excuse me. And I agree that the, like what I'm describing is a bad thing. You know, AI trying to pull the wool over people's eyes and fool mm -hmm. it into thinking it's a deeper tool than it is. I guess, I'm not I think saying it's, it's a sad good thing. And dark, but yeah. I'm, I'm just disagreeing with your premise that it's never going to be capable, excuse me, capable of fooling people to a slightly larger extent than just what you see at first blush. Um, I think there will come a time when people, again, remember, pe a lot of people are media illiterate. They don't think as hard as you and I probably do about pieces of art. And there will be lots of people who are wholeheartedly taken in, not just by what they see at first blush, but they'll think, 
huh, I wonder what that meant. And they'll project their own reasonably satisfying answer onto that question and then move on with their lives. Uh, and, so if you're telling and... me that that's bad, I agree with you. That's bad. But my, my I, I wasn't arguing about whether or not it's bad. I'm just saying I disagree when you say that it's never going to be able to fool people. It's never going to be able to take people on a slightly deeper journey than just what you see at face value because I people see. will project I whatever what they saying. want it I to I see mean. what you're saying, but I think that uh, I think that what you're saying is that yes, it is possible that say like um, like the AI could cre create an art that's compelling enough that prompts a question and then also generate a false reality um, that would answer that question. And uh, I agree, it it is pro it is potentially imaginable. I don't ever I don't I do not I simply do not believe that. Uh, uh, society will continue to function uh, as if we progress to that level of reality construction, I think that that would represent a, a it would represent a dissolution of reality that would, that would preclude us from being able to maintain the types of tools like AI outside of like a, a, a matrix type situation. Cause now we're talking about basically the matrix. What you're saying is that mm -hmm. you believe that AI will someday get so good that it not only will be able to create a story that, that appears to have meaning, but also will fabricate a story to give it meaning. Make make up who made this and say, I'm not actually an AI. This was directed oh, by no, no, a director. Oh, no, 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 no. Again, I'm not talking about credits. I, I am talking specifically about like the philosophical wonderings of the audience as they file out of the theater right, and they think, okay, oh, what did what that I said mean? Before, what, did I, yeah. what I said before is that it stops at the question. Because right. at okay. that, sure, people can think about it all they want, and it, but if they know it's an AI, then they go, well, it was a machine. It, it, it was, right. you know, it generated that. And if they don't know, then they are being, then, they're, then yes, they could mm -hmm. ask questions and they could imp impose all kinds of things, but that's where it stops. It stops being a communicative act and instead becomes a entirely solipsistic engagement in, in fantasy. Both of those outcomes I consider are bad. And, and, and because of that nature of AI, you cannot create, you cannot replicate the actual experience of art, which is being able to uh, take an art, interpret it, ask questions about it, and connect. Even if you're wrong about your interpretation of art or whatever, even if you're totally off, you can. There is actually something real and tangible and truthful in the world that exists there that doesn't involve in, in, insulating yourself in a purely solipsistic um, well. I'm imagining now a uh, a circumstance by which this art is meaningful, and I think that um, gotcha. yeah, I, I do. I don't disagree that uh, that like it's imaginable that art could be able to become convincing enough that it prompts people to behave that way. But uh, mm -hmm. to me, that is like I said, sickening. The idea that we should um, we should value the uh, the the j only uh, the appearance and only the simulation of of the of art in, in for what end it's like um it's like i don't know it's no, like and that's, i we, mean we figured that, out how to cure hunger reason. only we figured yeah. out how to cure hunger only to make to only to recreate the experience of being hungry again because uh you know it was our lives are meaningless without hunger like it's just like just create <laughs> art then Fuck this AI shit. Why would you? Why would you ever like even stand quiet for a world that's basically proposing that? Yeah, let's get this technology to the point where it tricks you into an ultra into a false reality. Just fucking make art. That's what makes art special. Is that we connect with each other through it. Like I don't know. Like I don't know. Well, that's then, just... then we arrive. Then we arrive back at the problem where if you say that to use AI as a tool at all is just all bad all the time and you should never do it then that's that's where you were like that was my answer to when you asked like why don't you just make a film then not a, i mean take away money there's still things that pre could preclude somebody from just going and making a film yeah i mean there are like yeah we have cameras yeah we have microphones yeah this technology is more accessible it still costs money but it's more accessible than it used to be and i think that's a good thing i think accessibility is a good thing and that's why i talk about ai in the abstract a lot i know that we live in a corporate hellscape and everything that we have that's called ai at the moment is basically uh, you know, a, a conglomerate if you, if of nightmares. If you care about accessibility, 
there are like AI is probably the absolute worst front to do battle on because like no, I, keep in I mind don't that think as, that's true. It is absolutely Again, the worst. Yeah, it's if, like if it's we're, the most upside limit- down because like there is entire populations of the planet that are that are unable to read, which like you might uh-huh. want to fix that problem before like well, before trying to, to trying problem. to like trying to, to like I don't know instead of like trying to like I don't know problem space out a world in which AI that is currently threatening to destroy all creative pursuits is okay actually like i don't know it just to me it just seems like no, this, I, is, this I, is where i, I get with a lot of ai conversations and it's just like at the end of the day it's just like nah the ai fucking sucks like at the end of the day it's just kind of like sure you can imagine a world where it's great but right now it fucking blows and there's a million other problems and most of the proposed potential goods are like obscured buried under mountains of bad that come from it you know um Nah, I mean, I, I still don't agree. I, I, I still think it's worth having a conversation about the abstract. I don't think you well, should sure, entirely we just close have the so idea. It's obviously I know, some, I'm saying, some value, I don't think but... you should entirely, I just don't think you should entirely close the door on this idea of a technology. If your contention is that right now what we have is bad, you will find no serious disagreement from me. I still think people have even used AI as it is currently to make some pretty cool stuff, but... I wouldn't really be all that sad I if saw that all mouse of the in the AI jacket. art that I've seen up to this point just went away. I mean, uh, sorry, uh, what did you say? No, I said I saw that mouse in a jacket, that meme, the mouse in the jacket. Mouse in a jacket. Yeah, anybody know what I'm talking about? Some people know the mouse in right. the jacket, right? Anyway, um, uh, well, this has I, been a I great have a combo. feeling that we've... Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think we're going to find much more to do except run in circles. And yeah. I was going to ask you, I mean... I would love to continue talking if you wanted to venture to another topic. I was just going to go to the bathroom, or we can uh, call nah, it here. I, I got to wrap it up. I got time. other topics I got to hit, but this was a good conversation, right, and I appreciate no, you being was, willing to was... actually call in and debate it. Uh, it, it was a good yeah. faith conversation. Uh, we definitely yeah, had well, some intentions. I, we had, I, I, I really like think we, I think we probably agree on more specific items than we disagree on. I, I just think we approach the entire topic from two different spaces, and I think eventually you boil it down to a rock and a hard place i don't think either of us is going to be completely convinced here but i don't think we disagree as much as i walked into this conversation thinking we would i thought when i said ai has the potential to make art i thought you were just going to shoot me down on the spot and we were going to no i i think there are blows about it i think they're thin i think they're thin avenues but i don't think that they're totally closed yeah so anyway uh thanks for calling in uh, it was a good call. Yep. I appreciate you being in good faith. I appreciate a, a, a hearty uh, bout in the arena of ideas. We don't get to have those very often anymore. These days, uh, a lot of debates just are not fun or are deranged. So it was nice to have a, a yeah. one that was well, grounded. And thanks for thanks for hey, calling if in. You, uh, and, if you ever, uh, ever want to have me to talk about something else, please do. And have well, a wonderful night. Your, your show is awesome. I'll well, continue to tune in. Appreciate that. Have a great night. Thanks for calling in. All right. Good night. Bye. Hey, I thought that was a, I thought that was a pretty, that was a pretty engaging conversation. Damn. Damn.